Every year, we celebrate the achievements of African Americans during the month of February. In 1915, half a century after slavery was abolished in the United States, Carter G. Woodson founded an initiative dedicated to researching and promoting the achievements of Black Americans. In the following years, cities and state governments began to dedicate a week to the study and recognition of Black history. In the late 1960s, during some of the most prominent civil rights movements, regional Black History Weeks were turned into one unifying Black History Month. This celebration was initially only recognized on college campuses, where students could support and learn from each other. It quickly evolved to be a widely celebrated event, and in 1976, President Gerald Ford officially recognized Black History Month to be a national celebration. We gather to celebrate Black History Month, and from our earliest days, uh, black history has been American history. African American culture has profoundly shaped American culture and music and art, literature and sports. It's a reminder of where we as a country have been so that we know where we need to go. Since 1976, every U.S. president has designated the month of February as Black History Month. Canada and the United Kingdom follow in our footsteps, dedicating an entire month to Black History as well. Black History Month gives everyone the opportunity to share, celebrate, and understand the impact of Black heritage and culture. In order to participate in this celebration, every week, DSOA Today will highlight an influential figure in Black history who has made an impact on our world today. Stay tuned.